Uh, Brian Kuntz. Um, I'm from Wapolo, Iowa. Uh, we farm around the, the Wapolo, Southeast Iowa area. Um, I farm with my dad and, uh, and then we also have a, a business side that we have uh, seed sales and then we do custom app uh, of chemicals. Um, and then we move into the custom app of uh, more of the late season work, nitrogen, and then uh, focusing on the fungicide application in corn um, with undercover technology. Over the last five to seven, eight years here, we've seen a real uptick in, in uh, the Japanese beetle population come in. The Japanese beetles would like to come in about that perfect time when the silks are coming out and like to come in and eat those silks off. And then we, we have a, a bunch of misses coming on on pollination on the, on the ear. So, uh, and you know, where the ear's at in the canopy, it, it can be difficult to get down there and get down and, uh, and take care of them insects. Uh, so, uh, you know, with the undercover, we can get right down to that ear leaf. Uh, penetrate their hard shell with uh, with good with uh, good insecticide and take care of those uh, at a lot more consistent rate. Um, so along with that comes you know the fungicide application. So we know that the fun the diseases that develop you know the gray leaf spots the northern corn leaf spots they don't just develop on the top side of the leaf or on the very top leaves. Um, so we again we need to penetrate that canopy, and so we're we're looking for a way to do that and. Um, you know, we invested in the, in the Hagee uh, sprayer to uh, be able to be in that big corn. Um, and, then, uh, and then we needed to get in that canopy. So the undercover allows us to get down in the canopy and spray the underside of the leaf, as well as coming on the top side of the leaf. Yeah, so before we, we moved to uh, this, uh, this Hagee with the undercover technology, um, we relied on basic aerial application um, to take care of uh, any, of our, uh, any of our insect problems or our fungicide problems and an aerial application has a it has a, a really good place and it, it's always going to be uh, something that we're going to need at, at certain points but uh, as, as a business side of things we look at you know managing risk and, and looking for efficiencies and and uh, you know if we we know agronomically if we can put you know get down in the canopy and we can put more volume of water on with the active ingredients we're you know to try to take care of the problems that we're looking at we know that we're going to have a more consistent uh, ROI. So that, you know, with the ground rig and running higher volume, uh, you know, the active ingredients. And then, and then of course, we know that, you know, we're covering all the corners and, you know, we're just making that application that sometimes an aerial application can't, can't quite get done. So comparing a uh, ground rig with an aerial, uh, that can be a real challenge uh, to get that, to get that, uh, that test set up. Um, you know, because aerial applicators have their own schedule and the, you know, we have our schedule. So uh, in 2020, uh, we actually had a, a really good test that we, uh, we were able to come in with the undercover. Um, basically the uh, 24 hours ahead of the airplane, which is as close as we could get, running the same product of active and fungicide and insecticide. Uh, we came in, we ran our ground rig at, at 20 gallon um, and they came in and ran their airplane aerial application 24 hours later. Um, at two gallon, um, and the yield the yield difference was very significant in the ground rig versus aerial. The ground rig was uh, just short of 20 bushel uh, increase, and basically the only difference was the volume of water we carried because the products, the active ingredients, were the same. The consistency of of the fungicide application has always been the the talk ab about it. So. Do we, do we have that consistent yield impact positively every single time we do that application? Uh, that's always one of the hesitants of a grower to decide, hey, I, I wanna go ahead and make that application. I've maybe seen the corn a little wetter. I don't know if I've seen a, a lot of yield impact positively with, uh, with that fungicide insecticide application. I think, uh, I think undercover uh, alleviates a little bit of that by bringing that coverage in, uh, you know, really covering that plant more consistent, consistently um, really driving the yield uh, more consistently um, up, and then and then the harvestability side of things. When you look at covering the, you know, we know the gray leaf spots coming in from the bottom. We know that it, you know, it it's hard to get down there and penetrate, and we know that undercover has the ability to get more down in the canopy. So if we can if we can you know cover that and have some better uh, experience harvestability wise, um, and then and then of course uh, with that better coverage um, agronomically, it just makes sense that it's going to yield more as well. Our as, as job as a farmer, as a businessman, is always managing risk. And if the technology and the products that we have available to us 
from companies like 360 allow us to be more flexible, um, you know, be more nimble and make, make decisions as we go and, and be able to address problems as we go. Um, that's the main reason why the products from 360 work well in our operation.